It's keyless, that's a new key. It's okay, you can lock and unlock and open the trunk, that's it. So you don't need to use the key, you just can put it anywhere you want. To start the car, press the start engine stop, put your leg on the brake and press again. Let's start with the interior guys because that's interior is just beautiful. Audi did a great job again. One of the best interiors in that segment, if not the best for the sports SUVs. Starting with steering wheel, very soft, super quality material, stitch as well. It comes with the gray color. And as we mentioned earlier, this is the Valcona leather. Super nice leather, the quality is fantastic. The smell is great. If you care about things like that, you're not gonna be disappointed with the Q8, guys. The pedal shifter are fixed on the steering wheel, you know, not the column. Unfortunately, the quality of the pedals are keep getting low and low for a reason. The previous one had the metal part and the plastic part. They were a bit longer and chunkier. This one, they are very thin and they are only made from plastic and they feel cheap and they feel that they, they can break up. Now let's talk about the buttons on the steering wheel. As you can see, there's not many here, which is cool. Main button for view to change the display of the car. You know, the cockpit now is only digital and I think it's one of the best, if not the best right now in that category. The design is super clear for the inside. Mainly you can control most of the function of the car from those two screens. They are very sensitive and they are very nice to touch. There's always a click button when you press on it. But instance here home, you have the shortcuts for radio. Uh, the media, you can connect your phone and other USB resources. And the telephone and the navigation. You always have to connect your phone. Guys, the navigation is one of the best, if not the best. You can zoom in and out by, you know, scrolling like you're doing on your phone. It's super cool function, man. So you have the map settings. You can have automatic day and night. And 2D, you can have it 3D as well. Root criteria, allow and avoid. And even personal routes, so 3D map, you can have a shortcut here as well. Mecca, actually, if you want to pray for people who want to pray and they don't know the, you know, the perfect position, so they can see based on their current position. That's a very cool function. Nobody thought about that apart from Audi. The different phone apps you can have here, the car settings, the Audi Drive Select Mode. You have different select modes, guys. Off-road is just going only off-road or road. If you have both regular roads and off-roads, so they call it all-road efficient. If you just want to save gas and don't use the power of the car, comfort the regular setting auto is supposed to be a little bit sportier. Dynamic is more sporty and individual. You can select and configure that the way that you like it. Drive system dynamic. I put it in suspension dynamic and steering dynamic. Uh, you can change the exhaust. So, and you can raise the car and lower the car whenever you want to. And I, I tried it, it works brilliantly and very fast. It just takes like five seconds. Vehicle information, tons of tech guys. There's tilt angle display for the car. <laughs> you have, you know, the attitude of the, you know, the terrain, 15 meters, because we're just on the sea. Efficiency assist, um, you know, for intelligent costing, economy, predicting messages. I don't know if you're gonna use this function anyways. The seats, that's one of the coolest function. If you have longer legs, you can make it a bit uh, forward and it's very nice. Usually other cars, they have it like, you know, just you have to press a button and slide it in and out, but this one is automatic. You can do the same with the passenger. Also, you can do the same uh, for the side blasters if you want them to basically hug you more. You can do that. Uh, you can, you know, even raise them. It depends on your, you know, the way that you like it. That's so cool, man. Seat temperature. You can put it in and out or keep it in the middle. So you have the radio here. You can change the channels. You can save different channels that you wanted. Uh, the media. You can connect your phone and USB in case you'd like to hear your own music. Uh, also, you have the telephone. You connect your phone so you can receive calls and dial calls from your phone directly. The navigation is one of the coolest function. Uh, you have the shortcuts to have that uh, 3D, uh, you can have it uh, 2D, you can even have it in, uh, you know, second position. Uh, the phone apps, uh, I don't know about it because that's a test drive car. I did not download the different apps. Coolest function is like you can even put the map on your 
digital cluster and you can zoom in and zoom out you know that's uh, that's very neat and this is a cool if you press on the view you have the map and you have the speedometer and the rpm on the right side they get smaller if you press again they get bigger and you map you keep it in the middle now uh, if you, you want to navigate through the different channels you can press left and right so you have the radio you have uh, the mobile connection the energy consumption for example if we have the map now in the middle you can see you can zoom in and out if you press view look how cool it is if you press here on that button you can have you know the navigation and shortcut so uh, like map for instance if you press on it it goes to map and then less destinations very nice function you don't have to really go to the middle screen and the, the touchpad this is if you like the buttons i think this is works great favorites map orientation zoom etc same thing with the channel guys and you know the range of the car it's massive huge tank i've been driving the car since uh, you know yesterday and the tank is still very high as for the headlights they are indicators they are on the left side column the bottom column is adaptive cruise control and it's easy to use it's not difficult at all you can set it the speed and you can have the limit here and also you can set the distance between you and the front car or the headlight washing thing they are here on that column for the rear and the front and they're super cool for instance if you want to have the rear wiper it just give you a notification on the right side you can have the telephone and the voice command and you can use the voice command for dialing numbers and maps and stuff like that but not different stuff you know here the knob to adjust the volume and to change channels you can mute it and you can store your favorite settings here as well doors you have the mirrors and you can adjust all the settings for the mirrors here the front doors and the rear doors and the cool feature you have the child logo so you can lock the doors for each child i like the way they did the uh, <laughs> the design for the child and the lock at the same time it does have the gentle closing as well lock and unlock and you can set the memory uh, for the seats for two settings the lights are here front fog and rear and keep it in auto they had these you know ashtray they kept it here more storage i put the sunglasses here as you can see you can open the trunk from here and the bonnets from there the sound system bang and offset as i mentioned when i was in this, the rear <laughs> it's just one of the best great great sound 3d quality clear you have the bass you have the treble you have everything you want the skin and the bottom guys uh, you can control different functions of the car as a shortcut there is no physical button it's just touch uh, the first button is on off to turn off the car and on basically if you have a full stop so in order to save gas i keep it off i don't like it uh, to keep it on because uh, i need to have the ac and it's just stupid function this one if you're going incline and the car will actually press itself it will break itself so if you're regular mode if you're driving regular uh, roads you don't need that uh, lane assist i keep it off basically because if you're driving not on the highway i want to change lanes it does inter interfere with your you know changing and steering i've seen it before and here you have different shortcuts basically for your last destinations you can turn off the skin by pressing this button and you are not gonna do that uh, you can see the temperature so it's four zone climate control not just two but you can see only two here but actually it's four uh, temperature just up and down and you can even slide it you don't have to press plus or minus um, same thing goes with the fan basically i like that you can slide it this is a very cool function uh, if you press on the seat as well and you can change different airflow from top to bottom and high whatever you like it so i like it in the bottom and the middle same thing you can do for the other side heat its function three settings ventilation three settings same thing for both sides you can put in eco mode if you want to and you can have it max or you can keep it just on the way that you like it you turn it off from here the drive select it's touch here and it's hidden you can you have to get used on that uh, you just have to put it up and down basically and the settings will just appear and then just keep it individual for now traction control you have it sport and you can turn it off by keep pressing on it there's a physical button for the volume and if you press on it it will mute you can go left and right as well to change tracks and stuff like that 
all the safety features of this car by pressing this button if you know about this button please let me know i see it's missing in this car i don't know if the other car have uh, you know that function or no it's very bulky and it looks great uh, the parking by pressing here in order to change from reverse to neutral to drive you have to press here and then and then move it backwards and you have different you know settings here automatic parking brake auto hold this is great function if you're stopping a lot in the lights in the middle of the city the car will stop itself and you don't have to press on the, the you know the brakes as you can see the glossy look all the way with the interface of the screens that means it hides you know the screen very well uh, but it does hide the you know the fingerprints pretty well i was expecting worse than that so i like the design of course the quattro will eliminate the cup holders i've seen different older cars they didn't have the cover but this one there's a cover for it and you can put two cups here easily fit the armrest huge space you can put the biggest phone in the market there's two usbs one sim and one sd card a soft leather i just turned down the ventilation for one setting instead of three because on the third and the highest it was super loud and very annoying you can hear the fan from miles away the only with a draw i believe that part that i've seen in the different cars the a7 the rs5 even that the test drove the rs3 even the qa there is no leather there if you know there is an option for this let me know guys i know it's soft stuff but it's just not so good for such an expensive car but the glassy part it looks great the wood is beautiful i love the interiors alcantara and soft leather the seats are just beautiful and very supportive and configurable as well the mirror is frameless like audi always do this stuff very well better than many others thank you audi because it looks great and it's very high quality here you have led and air touch you can put all the lights on of the car by pressing this button this button here as you can see but anytime you can press on the button and it will stop basically it won't go further because of the shape of the car that's obvious Thank you.